Welcome back, Aaron Masterson here. We're talking more snatches, but today things are gonna be pretty light. That's because we've moved on to actually bringing the bar overhead, and we're gonna be doing that using what's called a tall muscle snatch. Now, a little bit of terminology there for you. The tall position, as discussed in kind of the hang position video, is that power position, same, same that you're used to there. However, we're not going to dip our knees or use our lower body or hips to create any momentum on the bar. It's just gonna be going from here, overhead. Okay? What we're really trying to learn here is that bar path of keeping that bar in close to our body and pulling our elbows up high and outside and then locking it in overhead. I'm going to show you this from the side so you can see how close to my body this bar is staying through this whole movement. Okay, So it's almost in contact as my elbows are getting high and outside. My knuckles, wrists are still kind of pointed down towards the ground as much as I can for as long as I can. And then when I can't, that bar transitions overhead. Now I want some power in this range because you're not strong. With your elbows up this high and your arms out this wide, this area is not a strong area that you want to be trying to curl the bar over. Okay? So you want to create some momentum through this, let the bar float up, and then press and lock that bar out overhead. Now, I'm showing it in slow motion. What I want you to do is something much quicker, along the lines of this, once you become familiar with it. Do it slow, then speed it up, okay? Here, speed it up, speed it up, as fast as you can go. You can even hear, I can hear the bar actually making, the, the PVC kind of making a little echoing noise because of the speed of the air moving past the ends. So you want, you want to get to do it with speed as long as that bar doesn't start to come out from the body. You don't want this. You don't want that big arc tight to the body. And that's tall muscle snatch. This is helpful to develop strength and that turnover uh, and just developing that close to the body bar path. You can do this with a barbell. You just don't want to go terribly heavy. You probably can't. You'll start to have a, a tendency to make a couple of mistakes. One, you'll start to want to dip and get a little bit of help from the hips, which is a different progression, not what we're going for with a tall muscle snatch. Remember, tall, you're standing tall, no lower body, right? So it looks something like this. The other bit with the muscle snatch is we're still not using the lower body to catch it. So if you've done some snatches, if this isn't completely new to you, a lot of times you'll get a little bit of a bend and, and catch if, if you're power snatching, right? But with a muscle snatch, nothing, right? There's no redip. So we're not using the lower bodies for our, to initiate the movement and we're not catching it with the lower body at all. Thus the tall muscle snatch. Common mistakes are one, that bar starts to come out instead of staying close to the body. It'll start to drift out, especially if you're doing it super light with a PVC pipe. So either videotape yourself or have the coach watch you and you can kind of analyze your lifts. But the other thing that people kind of miss out on the, the purpose of this is, is they will try to pull it to here and get their elbows, instead of staying high and outside, their elbows start to come down, almost like 
you know, the movement of a clean, they're kind of rotating underneath the bar so that then they can really press it out. And that's not what's gonna happen in a real, a full snatch. So you wanna keep those elbows high. That bar keeps coming up. See how my elbows haven't dropped below that their kind of highest point? And you let that bar come up and then they lock out. So keep the elbows high and outside as much as you can, okay? Uh, sometimes you wanna go from a PVC pipe to maybe a 15 pound bar if your gym has kind of training bars. Try it with a 35 pound uh, women's bar before you even get to the empty men's bar. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching all these snatch progression videos. Uh, I really just love seeing people hit a really great solid snatch. It feels so good when you just nail it. And uh, if there's any of these progressions that you really enjoy, just be sure to give that video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe because there's gonna be more of them. And uh, if you hit a big snatch PR or just really enjoy one of these progressions, be sure to share it with me on social media. There are links to my accounts in the descriptions down below. Look forward to continuing this journey with you and seeing it where it takes.